How's it going everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be discussing a new theory for Beyond the Spider-Verse that I just came across. I don't want to spoil anything for the theory, but if this theory does turn out to be true, it will have been hinted at both into the Spider-Verse and across the Spider-Verse. And I do have to mention before we get started that this is not an original theory that I came up with. I actually saw it on Reddit, I think, or YouTube, and I just wanted to share this. So be sure to like and subscribe and let's get started with the theory. The theory is that Miles's and Gwen's universe are gonna combine in Beyond the Spider-Verse. Yeah, yeah, it seems like this theory came out of nowhere, but trust me, there's solid evidence backing this up. So in order to understand this video, we're gonna have to go back to where it all began, into the Spider-Verse specifically when Miles and Gwen first meet. We see here in this scene, there's a poster behind the teacher that shows two black dots combining. It's worth mentioning that they are in a physics class currently learning about Dr. Olivia's documentary on alternate dimensions. Now this poster won't mean too much in the first movie, but how it's connected to in the second movie is what makes this theory so big if it turns out to be true. So in the second movie, when Gwen is about to leave, we see a heart-to-heart -heart movement between Gwen and Miles. However, if we look into the background, there are two circles behind them combining from the whole spot made from his explosion. One circle is where Miles is, and the other circle is where Gwen is. This can't be a coincidence. So the theory that stems from this is that in Beyond the Spider-Verse, Gwen's and Miles' universe will combine. Just like how in the first picture the two circles are combining, this could be because Miles' universe gets destroyed by the spot when he becomes too powerful, and Miles has to combine his universe to Gwen's universe somehow to save the world. And if you still aren't convinced about this theory, there's more. So you know how at the end of Across the Spider-Verse when Gwen was able to figure out that Miles is in a different universe? Because of this, everybody theorized that Miles and Gwen share some sort of spider connection. Well, this theory was actually confirmed by the directors themselves in an interview. What does all of that have to do with the current theory that Miles and Gwen's universe will combine? Well, the connection that they share could be another hint that in the future, their worlds will become one in Beyond the Spider-Verse, and they're more connected than everybody realizes. Comment down below what you think about this theory because I really do think there's solid evidence and it's gonna happen beyond the Spider-Verse. And before we end the video, I just wanna share a little Easter egg that I noticed in the first and second movies. So in the first movie, we all know that Miles is the main character, obviously. But Peter B. Parker, who I say is the second most important character in the movie, goes through a journey of self-improvement, and by the end of the movie, he turns his life around back at his universe. Since at first, he was all alone and getting out of shape. After spending time with Miles, Peter is a changed person and he even gets back together with MJ by the end. Moving on to the second movie, Miles is still the main character again, surprise surprise. But in this movie, Gwen gets her journey of self-improvement, which is seen when at the start of the movie, she isn't on the best terms with her father. However, by the end of the movie, Miles changes Gwen and she reunites her with her father and apologizes, and everything is fine in her world. I think by this point it's pretty well known, but based off of this pattern of Miles helping whoever he comes across, I think the main Miles is gonna lead Miles G. Morales from the end of Across the Spider-Verse into a journey of self-improvement in which he either becomes a better person overall or gets in better terms with somebody. This is the end of the video, so if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see everybody in next week's video.